Uh, what's going on guys it's unlock five welcome back to another video i'm about to if you can't tell from the tint of my glasses i'm loading up splatoon 2 and i'm about to go play splatoon 2 so uh before that i just thought i'd bust out this video real quick but relax relax don't feel like i'm trying to rush to make this video splatoon 2 can wait splatoon 2 will wait today we are going to quickly talk about this, the, these rumors regarding Nintendo Switch Pro 2021, this sounds interesting. So let's get into it. So uh, I first heard about these rumors on uh, Beat 'em Ups and um, R RGT, I believe that's the name of him, don't quote me. But um, they both made a collab video and um, essentially convincing the viewer on how there would be a Nintendo Switch Pro for 2021. So I was like, you know what? Let me watch it, why not? And to be fair, they did a great job in convincing. Uh, basically what I got from that video was uh, there was a business insider, like a credible source that um, explained that Nintendo wanted uh, third parties or uh, just other companies to start um, producing 4K hardware um, for their product, I guess. And um, why else would you be wanting 4K hardware? for nintendo because obviously you're going to want to utilize it to make a new and improved version of the nintendo switch just like 85 said in the video um they aren't there to like clickbait you you know they, they aren't there to um you know they're they're, they're an actual business insider it's not like a, a a twitter post i was like okay let me do a little bit more research and then as i was doing so i looked up the um the launch titles or um j just the the titles that were releasing for the switch for 2021 and like if you look at them just visually they look pretty good like to the extent to where i was genuinely surprised that they would be able to run on the switch like monster hunter rise if you look at the trailer it literally looks like a uh a compressed version of something that you find on um the ps4 pro or like a pc you know what i'm saying like or the ps5 even it looked like one of those games i was like okay so i mean obviously you're gonna have these new big games coming out i know that there's um 3d world mar I, I have the game for the wii u uh super mario 3d world not land world um as well as uh bowser's fury it's like a joint you, you know that trailer uh, it wasn't gameplay it was obviously a cinematic trailer but i mean nonetheless it looked pretty good i mean i assume that you'd want something like that to look uh decently better than what it did on the previous console you know and of course you, you want to release like the, the new big games on uh, the nintendo switch Pro, Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever they're calling it now, um, Metroid Prime 4, which has been in development for years. It would make sense to why Nintendo has been asking for um, 4K hardware. And um, if they're actually going through with this, cool. I'm not complaining. But then it led to some questions in my mind, you know? So. Before we even get into that, let's take a look at the jump between the PS4 to the PS5. The Xbox One X to the uh, Series X, or even just the Xbox One. Very, very pathetic. That's why I got my, um, <laughs> they asked me which one of the two consoles I wanted for Christmas. I said, not a console, not sexy sexy gaming laptop essentially a pc and a laptop <laughs> it's okay it's all right it's all right you came with 500 gigs and you know that's lackluster in today's day and age you know but like it's all right we're gonna get that hdd hooked up for you two terabyte all right i got you i got you. yeah i got a uh <laughs> sexy gaming laptop for christmas it was well over uh, $1,500, you know, cost over a rack, you know, it was still way but like, oh my gosh, if I got a PS5 or a Series X instead of this, dude, what? Now, on the other hand, if the Switch came out, right, if the Switch, if, if we're still back in the Wii U days, right, and if the Switch were coming out for this Christmas, 
I'd be like, gaming PC, Switch. Obviously, I'm going to ask for the gaming PC because, you know, I have access to it. But I mean, I'm going to make a note to get the Switch, right? I, I It's, it's going to be both. It's going to be that, right? Because I, I need a powerhouse and then I need like something innovative, right? PS4 to the PS5, like what, what changed? Honestly, you have faster load times, better graphics, and an H -A -O, a, 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 an adaptive trigger to the new uh, DualSense controller. Honestly, I hope that you can uh, turn that shit the fuck off because um, it just seems annoying. Imagine like picking up an MP5 in um, Call of Duty Pedophile Warfare and like you're pressing down on it and then you're like okay i'm done with this and then you pick up an m16 or whatever uh they have in that shitty video game and then like you pressing the trigger and it's harder to press it like what hell no you better have that shit turned off but i mean my point is is that the jump between those two consoles were pathetic when the jump between your previous console and your new console is essentially boiled down to graphics and loading times are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you joking? That's what we're working with? It is just crazy to me how like random people literally hold a percentage of the stock. So whatever, you have the scalper problem, but then like because of that, you have like, it, if you want a PS5, you're gonna have to pay almost double the amount of the initial cost. At that point, it's like, why, why, why not, why not get, sexiness over here for 1500 a little bit over 1500 you'll be good don't don't pay anywhere close to a thousand dollars for a console like what, what what is there to offer basically the jump from the wii u to the switch was great you had the wii u which was nintendo's first hd console okay but then you have something like the switch not that much better in resolution but better in resolution um 1080p 60 fps capabilities um but then again it would be like the ps4 to the ps5 right just better graphics and better loading time but no the switch is a hybrid console the first is it the first yeah yeah i think it is the first hybrid console you can have it docked or you can play it on the go on the display you have joy cons which are detachable from the tab or you have detachable joy cons all right and you can play like that or you can uh get a much needed nintendo switch pro controller right here i can fit my entire console on here but my ps4 is like i don't know my ps4 it's you know not that for there's there's innovation there's a reason to buy the nintendo switch you know so what does that have to do with nintendo switch 2021 okay so Let's take a look at uh, Nintendo's future console, right? What is this new Nintendo Switch Pro going to do exactly? On one hand, if it doesn't do too much, then there's not really an incentive to, you know, upgrade from the Switch. But if it does too much, then it will diminish the value of Nintendo's next console depending upon what they're gonna do, obviously, but it's most likely going to diminish the value and the need or demand for their next console. Because I mean, think about it. Nintendo is most likely going to make another hybrid console or uh, maybe a hybrid console with something of like a, a little more innovation. Um, I mean, it's for a separate video, but I already have, you know, something in mind not like 8k ray tracing like some of the other things have but you know obviously 4k you know maybe over 60 frames per second maybe 90 frames per second 120 fps i don't know but i mean then at that point it's gonna be like why buy a hybrid console with um 4k or above graphics and a um a decent to impressive fps number when I have this Nintendo Switch Pro, which is a hybrid console, 4K and a decent or higher than 60 FPS, you know, capabilities. Like it's, this new Nintendo Switch has the high likelihood of diminishing 
the value of Nintendo's next console. And um, that all depends on what their plans are for their next console. But um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a hybrid console. So it's gonna be interesting if this thing is really happening. Um, which I, I think it should, you know, I think we do need a Nintendo Switch Pro. There's some games like Age of Calamity, you know, that, that, thanks, thanks for that. Like Age of Calamity, it, it can drop down to 10 frames at certain times. But so like a Nintendo Switch Pro, if that can handle it, then yeah. That also opens up the possibility for more third party companies to invest in that Nintendo Switch Pro. But then it's like, where do you draw the line between exclusivity? Because you want all your games that you have on the Nintendo Switch to be on the Nintendo Switch Pro as well. Um, I can't think of a game, and please, please let me know um, if I'm wrong, but I don't think that there are any games that were on the PS4 Pro that weren't on the PS4. You know, so it, it, it's gonna get really, really weird with how this thing is going to work again especially if we're getting third party developers in here like if we get call of duty on here on the nintendo switch pro and then like there's no call of duty for the nintendo switch because you can't run it so then people are going to view it like okay is this nintendo's next console so i mean if they release a switch in 2022 and that's why they're getting the 4k hardware whatever the heck then i mean I'm definitely down for that. Touching back on my point from earlier, I feel like these games like Splatoon 2, I could use 4K, I could use 60 FPS. We can wait a little bit longer for Breath of the Wild 2. We can wait a little bit longer for um, whatever, Metroid Prime 4, because that's been like in development for how many years now? If Nintendo plays it right, I'm sure that their next console will be like maybe completely different. Maybe, I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what it's gonna be. But um, the, the more you do with this Nintendo Switch Pro, it like the more you have to do with the next console. And it, it just might be very convoluted, you know? And if, uh, if the Nintendo Switch Pro, if all of it's doing is like boosting uh, performance, then and then of course you're not going to have um much incentive to buy that over the nintendo switch when it has no problem running the same games you know and the only difference is graphical output um because essentially the difference between ps4 and ps5 is graphical output and you know i'm not like everyone that's why i didn't buy the ps5 but um you know some people might but undeniably it will diminish the next console in value so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below love you all and i'll catch you guys in the next video a next video another video the next video next time i'll catch you guys next time